Hello, and this is Westgate Resorts, Oracle Applications Cloud, and today we are going to talk about suppliers who can register online into our supplier portal, uh, which is with Oracle Fusion. So you'll get a web link from us, and once you click on the web link, this uh, screen should show up. Um, register supplier company details contacts addresses business classifications products and services and just review whatever you have put in to the system so we're going to just make up a uh, dummy account just so we can help you go through the process step by step uh, anything that you see with a star one star means you have to fill it out. So tax organization type is whatever you have on your W-9. Uh, the most common is usually corporation or individual or partnership. Uh, the supplier type will be more than likely purchasing. You can put your website if you want to. And then we'll go over to tax country, which more than usual is going to be the good old United States. So we got the United States. If you have a federal ID number, you enter that. And then if you have a, um, if you use your social security number, then you'll enter your tax registration number. Uh, enter your social security number into that uh, field. Uh, attachments, you need to attach your W-9, which needs to be the current W-9 form, the December 2017. It needs to be signed and dated in 2018. You need a uh, current uh, COI or certificate of insurance with our Westgate's additional language on it, especially for the journal liability and auto. We don't need the additional language for workers' comp. You need at least a million dollars for general liability and auto, and at least a hundred thousand dollars for workers' comp. So, also you need a um, you need to put your terms and conditions, attach our terms and conditions in it. Um, that you should have a copy of and any other information that you want to give us. Of course, the more information the better. If you have a contract that you want to upload to the um, site, that is fine. And I'm just going to show you how it looks. So I just put a, a file on there so you know how it looks of uh, when you've finally attached um, an item to this site. We'll go down here uh, for um, are you the W-9 insurance and terms required documents attached. You'll put uh, yes. Certificate of insurance required, yes, more or less, um, more times than not. Um, you'll put the dates of the journal liability, the auto, and the workers comp. If you have our additional verbiage, you put a yes here. Uh, if you need to know what the additional language is, then get with your uh, buyer and they can give it to you before you send in the COI. Since if it, the additional language doesn't have, is not on the COI, then we might reject your registration and you'll have to do it all over again. Um, go down and fill out the amounts um, and you see that you have to fill them out because they have the the one star and then you'll have to fill out your content information and that will be whoever is going to be your administrative contact which means they can um, upload invoices into supplier fusion so you can get paid and there's more transparency 
of how and when you'll get paid. And also they can do change orders on purchase orders and to get approval by the buyer and even change orders on blanket purchase agreements, which can get also get approved by a buyer. <clears throat> we'll do a dummy email, try to get through this and And so once you fill all that out, you'll hit next and you'll go to contacts. And we have filled out something wrong. So anything you fill out wrong will give you an error and it'll tell you what you need to do. So I just didn't fill out the whole word. So we'll go to next, we'll go to contacts. If you want to add more contacts, you hit the plus sign. Uh, if you want to edit, the particular contact you just entered in you can do that. Um, so looks good from here. So we'll go to next, and this is the address. So this is the address. What you want to do is put your remit to address here. So wherever we send the checks or the money, uh, this is the address that we want. Um, for the address name, usually you use your city. And then to make it easy, you just put in the postal your zip code or postal code and hit tab and it'll give you selections to pick. And you always pick the selection that has the state abbreviated. So I'll pick the first one, hit OK. Um, hit uh, the ordering and remit to. The ordering means uh, you'll get a purchase order from the buyer. And the remit to, of course, is for AP, so they can cut you a check. Enter your phone number, fax number. I'll enter the um, same email that I did before. And then I'll even, I can add the contact so it's referenced for that particular um, address. If everything looks good, Hit OK. And then go on to your next. Business classifications is really easy. All you do is hit the little check mark saying none of the classifications are applicable and hit the next button. Go to products and services. You have to pick one. So this is the list. You pick one that's uh, more has the most relevance to you, and pick one, and then hit apply and OK, and it's it's um, it's on there. So you can go to next, and you can pick more one, more than one product and services. If you have multiple things that you do, that's fine. Just pick as many as you want. Um, then you go down to the last part, uh, review. Uh, look at everything that you've put entered in. Um, and what happens after you hit click register is it'll give you a confirmation box um, that your request was submitted to our supplier portal. And the first thing it does, it goes to the tax department, which looks over the W-9, make sure it's correct, and that it's the 2017 December form. It's signed and dated in 2018. Then it'll go to risk management department for them to look over the certificate of insurance or your COI, make sure that's okay. And then it goes to um, the supplier development manager in purchasing to set up your sites so the buyer can get started of doing uh, purchase orders for you. And then also you'll get an email once that is done with the sites that uh, you can set up your own uh, password to get into the supplier portal and start uh, invoicing 
Westgate Resorts for invoices that are, might be open or for invoices that are coming down the pipeline in the future. Hope that helps. If you have any questions, you can email Michael underscore Valentine at WGResorts.com or email supplier underscore forms at WGResorts.com and ask any questions or comments here to help you. And I hope that helps. So thank you for your time and attention and have a good day. Goodbye.